Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you about my project that is e-commerce project using Spring Boot and React.js. Actually, in this topic, I have already created one project. Okay, so in the same project only, I have added some more functionalities. So the very first functionality is email functionalities. That is, during the registration, forget password and while ordering the product, we will get the mail from the application. And the second thing is payment gateway. I have integrated the payment gateway called Razorpay. Okay, so for ordering the products, customer have to pay the amount by using the UPI mode or a debit card or credit card. So that we will see in this uh, video. And definitely I will provide the video link of that video in the description. So you can check the complete video there. Okay, I have shown the complete functionality from start to end there. Okay, so firstly you can watch that video. Then after that you can watch this video where I have added some more functionality so, so in this video mainly we will see all the latest functionalities which i have added in this project so let's see the basic overview of the project so as we know our project contains three module that is admin or seller module customer module and the delivery person module firstly seller will login into the system and after the login he can add the product categories and products into the system and as soon as he adds the product into the system those products will be visible in the home page of our website okay and after adding the products seller will also add the delivery person into the system so that if any customer makes the order okay that delivery person can deliver those product to the customer so now since seller has added the products into the system those products will be visible to the customer and from here customer can basically uh, view all the products which is added by the seller and also he can search the products by the category and now let's suppose customer wants to order some products so firstly customer will add the products into the cart and from there uh, he can order the products so for ordering the products firstly he have to make the payment so as soon as customer clicks on the order button he will get multiple options for the payment okay like upi payment debit card credit card multiple payments options he will uh, able to see so for ordering the products customer will pay the amount using any of the payment mode okay and uh, as soon as customer makes the payment admin will be able to see those payment detail in his dashboard okay now since we have integrated the razor pay so seller will be able to see uh, this received amount in his razor pay dashboard which i will show in the later part of the video now once customer makes the payment his order will be confirmed and admin will be able to see the customer order okay and now from there he can assign the delivery person for that product order and once delivery person is assigned for that order that particular delivery person can log in and he can see that admin has assigned a delivery order for this delivery person and he can basically update the delivery person based on the actual status of the delivery so the thing is customer can see the delivery status of his order at any time and now let's suppose delivery person orders the product to the customer then he will simply update the status as delivered and the same thing will be visible to the customer and the admin in his dashboard so this was the basic overview of the project now let's see the complete project in detail but before that i would like to request you guys to please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel because it really takes lots of time and efforts for creating such type of project so hit that subscribe button to motivate me to create more such type of project for you guys so now without wasting any time let's see the project in detail and for that let's go to the other end so here is our back end e-commerce project that is online shopping project and here we can see all the packages which i have created here here is our pom.xml file and uh, resources folder so without wasting any time let's run the project so for that i'll right click on the project run as spring boot app and meanwhile uh, let me run the react application also this is our uh, react application here we can see i have created multiple uh, components here okay we can see the react packages here so for running the react application i'll simply run the command npm start hit enter now let our backend and frontend both the application run okay it got started
okay so our backend application is running fine we can see started online shopping application on port 8080 okay now let's wait for the react application also okay so our react js application is also running fine now and we can see the output here so this is the home page of our application and here we can see multiple categories are there and multiple products are there so in the existing video uh, i have already shown like how to add the categories and products okay we can search the products by the category here i have already shown all these things in the that video okay so so the video link for the same i'll give in the description you can check out like uh, the complete functionalities basically so as of now i'll uh, uh, register as a customer here i'm entering my correct email id because i'll be receiving the mail on this email id password mobile number i can enter anything these are dummy data okay now i'll click on the register user button and uh, an otp has been sent to your email please verify okay so here we have to enter the correct otp okay to register into the system so i'll open the email now and here we can see e-commerce online shopping verify your email address for user registration so here we can see user registration otp for e-commerce website this is the otp right so i'll copy this and paste it here and click on verify user registered successful and now i can log in with the same email id and password okay invalid login credential okay now I entered the correct password logged in successful and here uh, we have got two options that is my cart and my orders okay so initially this will be definitely empty okay because just now I have registered as a fresh customer and I have not added anything into the cart and definitely I have not ordered anything till now so what I will do I will add this into the cart okay one quantity add to cart cart added successful and here in my carts now i can see the shoe here and also in here previously we were not able to see this checkout button now since the product is present in the cart so that's why we are getting the uh, we are able to see the total amount here with the checkout button okay let's add one more product here okay and let's add this shoe also let's add two product add to cart so the total price is now 15,997 rupees okay yeah if you want to delete anything okay let's delete this product deleted from the cart successful and here for one product the price is 399 sorry 3099 rupees as we can see here and let's add this thing this t-shirt okay add to cart i'll add two so 1500 4000 plus 500 it will be 4499 rupees okay now i will click on the checkout button so as soon as i click on the checkout button here i will be able to see the multiple options okay for the payments and he, in here we can see multiple option like card net banking wallet emi pay later multiple things are there okay and we can see here this is the test mode okay we are not actually paying uh, the amount now okay so now we can see here 
upi payment is temporarily unavailable so let's use the card okay i'll click on the card okay but the thing is uh, uh, we don't have the test data right so here in the razor pay website only we can see that test card details okay again i'm repeating this is the test mode okay but definitely we can move to the live mode also for receiving the actual payment from the customer okay if you are using this application for the uh, production use okay so test card for indian payments so here they have given the test details so i will use this card number is this i'll copy this card number master card we can see here it automatically came here expiry any future date okay so now it's 17 so i will i will add uh, and 25 card holder name gradually and what about random cvv so i'll add one two three here and i'll click on the pay now button but here also we can see the total amount okay total price here is 4499 rupees same amount we can see here and i will click on view details now okay order summary is product order e-commerce online shopping application okay now i will click on the pay now button yeah so since this is live mode so it is asking us to uh, click on the success or failure scenario so if you want to test the uh, success scenario then we have to click on the success button otherwise failure button okay but in the production level it will not ask this okay it will uh, act based on the actual transaction status okay because we are hitting the razor pay api so that will be completely dependent on the response received from the razor pay uh, api okay as of now let's make it success because we want to order the product and here payment successful and redirecting in two seconds okay now it will redirect here and if i click on the yeah your order placed order id is this and uh, we can see uh, if i click on my cart then this is empty now and we are not getting uh, any option called checkout button and if i click on the my orders the same products are visible here in the my orders part and also i receive one mail from the application i'll open it and here we can see e-commerce online shopping order confirmation uh dear murat thank you for placing an order with us your order id is this this is the order id and order detail also we can see here product name with the quantity and the price okay and the total price is 4499 rupees okay so yeah after the order we will uh, we will get the mail also from the application so now i will log out as a customer and definitely i can log in as a admin and i can assign that uh product delivery to the delivery person that i have already shown in my last video so uh, video link of the same i will uh, give in the description you can check that uh, video and one more thing i forgot to say is customer has paid the amount 4499 rupees for the order okay so now admin can open his razor pay dashboard and in here he can see all the amounts uh, which is received from the customer order okay so we can see here we had paid using the credit card and the amount was 4499 rupees so this was a very important functionality which i have added in this project and after this the next functionalities which i have added is forget password so let's forget the password i will enter the correct email id what it is showing password not matching okay so i have to enter the correct password okay then if i enter the wrong email id then in password bad request missing input okay what is the problem here validate inside this i don't want to validate this thing save it let it restart I think started now uh, if i click on the change password user with this email id not exist okay so i'll enter the correct email id now and i'll click on change password an otp has been sent to your email okay uh, so i'll check it now 
and here we can see e-commerce online shopping verify otp for the forget password and here we can see forget password verification otp i'll copy this otp and i'll paste here click on verify and password change successful and now i can log in with the uh, updated email id and password logged in successful so this all functionalities i have added in my existing project of e-commerce i hope you guys liked all the functionalities which i have added in this project and also i hope you guys liked the video too if you did please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel because it really takes lots of time and efforts for creating such type of projects we will meet soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye